Hello, Magic players. It's Corn. It's that corny guy. And should I buy the Mastery Pass? Should you buy the Mastery Pass? Only 29 days left, but let's uh, let's check it out. I don't care at all about cosmetics. So let's put it simply that is all the cosmetics are effectively worthless. So I'd be getting some packs. A draft token and 1200 gems. I'd be spending two drafts worth of gems and then some for two drafts. Kind of. I don't really care about the packs either. Like, most of them are for sets I don't care about. I don't think it's worth it. Like, I do not think. Now, if the Mastery Pass actually refunded all the gems... See, we can call this 1,500 gems, so I'd be getting 2,700 gems back. In other words, it's a loss of 700 gems for a bunch of cosmetics that I, again, don't care about. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think the Mastery Pass is actually worth it or nah? Because I tend to look at this and think, like, nah, it's not really worth it, you know? Like, if you care about cosmetics, right? If you think, like, oh, I want my waterfront district to look cool. I want my broker's hideout and my tramway stations to look cool. Then, sure. Then, sure, I get it, right? But if you're like me and you don't care about the cosmetics at all, it's probably not worth it. I'd rather just do another draft. Because right now I have enough for three drafts. If I do this, I get how many gems back? 1,200? I get 1,200 gems back. Which would put me at... Uh... Uh... Math. 1,200 plus 1,100. 2,300. So I'm not quite enough for two drafts. So I'd only have two drafts if I do this. I have three drafts. If I just draft. So uh, we're going to draft New Capenna. I know that was an oddly long uh, intro. I do think the Mastery Pass is not worth it. I, I'm looking at it and thinking... I'm just losing like 700 gems to get a bunch of dumb cosmetics that I don't care about. And yeah, I guess... If anyone, if anyone actually spent gems on packs then it might be worth it for them, but who does that? Because, uh, I don't know about you, but I just spend my, all my resources on drafting. That is, that is the way, as it were. Are we ready? We are ready. Sometimes it takes a little time. Some time, 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 time. Okay. Dross Dragon. Cool name. Probably grab that because it's just a rare, but what does it actually do? Choose a permanent. Activate abilities of it can't be activated. It has all the abilities of that thing. It is also just a 2-drop two 2-3. Two, uh, I don't know. What good does that really do? Like, I'm not forced in blue-white even if I pick it. But if I am in blue-white, I feel like Regulator's kind of better. <laughs> Regulator's one of the MVPs. I guess I'll pick the Scheming Fence. I don't know. It is just a 2-drop two 2-3. Two, but there's plenty of 2-drop two 2-3s two that do a lot more. Even Jetmere's Fixer is kind of a better 2-drop. Yeah. Hearse. Uh, Hearse can be played in any colors and can become absurdly strong, so... I think that's the thing to go with. I like calling a professional murder. Murder's really good. <clears throat> Not for society, or like, really, but, you know, in this format. 
Um, I'm not really stuck in blue-white. Cleanup crew is really strong. I could just grab the land. But I really, again, I don't need to be in uh, blue-white. Obscura Initiate's also good. Parcel, also good. I think... Why'd I get Witness Protection? I was definitely picking Cleanup Crew. Are we gonna have another one of these weird, glitchy drafts? Alright. Did I misclick? Because if I misclicked, that is a frickin' terrible, terrible misclick. Um... I'm not crazy about any of these. Glamorous Outlaw is pretty okay, I guess. Midnight Assassin's okay too. Um Well now I'm just thrown through a loop because that's not supposed to be witness protection. That's supposed to be cleanup crew. So do I play as though it's cleanup crew, or do I play as though it was a misclick? Dang it. Mr. Orfeo is pretty solid. This would be Forest Mountain if I do go Jund. I'm so confused, though. That... that has thrown me through such a loop. If I'm going Riveteers, that's the right pick. If I'm going Obscura, that's the right pick. Which Obscura is... Ah, I'm so confused now. They need to fix whatever this glitch is where it just gives me the wrong card. This is like the third time it's happened. Um, alright, too late to change my mind on that one. If I am going Jund, that's the right pick. Which would make that the wrong pick. Kind of all over the place. I guess I just play as though that card doesn't exist. Let's do it that way. Play it as though that doesn't exist. Jetmere's Fixer's okay. Briefcase is okay. It's a 1-1 one, one and a treasure for 2 mana. Probably cut the scheming fence and pretend like I'm in Jun now. I don't have anything that gives treasures yet. Another Mass Bandits. I think I like Riveteer's Initiate. Um. Sure. Angel of Suffering. Easy first pick. It looks like I'm in Jund here. Hopefully this actually is the stupid glitch, and then I end up with, uh correct cards okay we're getting another chance so the plan is big jund it looks like yep that that only furthers the big jund plan I think Forge Boss is too good to pass up, even though Body Dropper is good too. Uh, 
Body dropper is good, I will say. Um, another briefcase. Dig up the body. I think it's either dig up the body or fake your own death. Fake your own death's pretty good. I think dig up the body's better. Angel of Suffering is a weird one. Grudge? Garo goons. Uh, the Goons of Doom. Um, that's a band, by the way. The Goons of Doom. They're okay. They get a solid okay in my book. Uh, I think Girder Goons is better. I don't have a lot of creatures that I want to sacrifice as of yet. Grizzly Sigil, I think Strangle's better. Deal Gone Bad is also good, but Strangle is earlier. Uh, Rafine Silencer is pretty good. What's my curve look like? What's my color split look like? Slightly more black. Green is still cuttable, actually. I like light em up. Graveyard shift. Graveyard shift to get back any of the big things. Plasma jockey is also pretty good, but I think I like graveyard shift. Roastmaster or assassin? I think Roastmaster. A swamp or mountain? Rocks pummeler, sure. Gieta. Yeah, I don't want Gieta though. But I don't actually want anything in this pack. <laughs> I guess the racer's ring is the right pick. I only clicked it once. There are multiple glitches in the drafting that need to be fixed. Sometimes I'll click something once, and I mean to sit there and think about it, but it just picks it. How's my creatures? 9, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9 to 8. Slightly more creatures than non-creatures. Very slightly more. Um, I think Jewel Thief is better than Custodian. Yeah, I think Jewel Thief is better. Especially with as high end as this deck is. Getting a treasure kind of matters. Room for five more cards. I have things for in case I don't get all five slots full, but... Another Quaza. Two Quazas would have been really strong. It's way too late for that, though. Strong Arm, Halo Scarab, Overlook. I think Overlook was the three Quazas if I'd been an Esper. Sheesh. Yeah, I don't really... Like, I'm not crazy about any of these, though. I do have one, two, three, four, five. Five potentially not really playable cards. Yeah, we'll get more fixing. Have an absurd amount of mana fixing. Another initiate might be nice. Warm welcome's good, though, because it lets me dig and grab stuff. Yeah, we'll get warm welcome. Riveteer's decoy is a nice pickup this late. Calling a professional also a nice pickup this late. Another mass bandits might be kinda nice, but I feel like the high end of this deck is already there. I've got like five bombs. 
Five bombs is more than enough. Prize fight over magician. Mm. I feel like cement shoes are really bad. Like. I guess I'll grab them. Not gonna run them, but I'll grab them. I don't want to play Rob the Archives. I am not aggro enough for that. Sticky Fingers might be worth it, actually. It might not, though. Okay, and it's over. So first thing I'm going to do is try to just hit OK and see if I do actually have that second cleanup crew. Done. Network error. Thank you. There we go. So I do have two cleanup crews. Three join the maestros. That's just stupid. Okay, now we're only three cards over. And we gotta choose what to uh, get rid of. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 creatures. Probably want to cut non creatures then. I can cut sticky fingers. Pretty high curve. So we're gonna want to draw lots of lands. All of these are relevant, right? That's Forester Mountain, that's Swamper Mountain, and that's anything. I think I like it the way it is. I think it's fine, like this. What was the other uh, five drop I was thinking about running? No, I never actually picked it, did I? Oh well. I think we try it like this. I'm pretty happy with this. And being two cards over, we can pretend as for uh, Angel of Suffering. Okay, that's weird. We don't like Scheming Fence there. Let's, uh the appropriate cleanup crew, since that's the card it pretended I didn't have, but I did. All right, so we're big jund, big riveteers. Like the big daddy, the rosy big daddy in uh, Bioshock with its rivet gun. The rivet gun is one of the coolest weapons in Bioshock too. Although the drill, man, there really should be a big dude with a big drill in this set. I don't know if there is, and I've just missed it, but that would be perfect. I don't know what it would be, though. Like, I don't know how you would, uh... I, I have no idea what card it would be. Like, uh, brutal... It could just be, like, um... I don't know. You can't just name it Bouncer, right? Shy Guy? Um... Hmm. Nah, I don't have all my colors. This I kind of do. Kind of. I think this is a forest. Because this is treasure. briefcase. I really do need to draw lands, though. Because, yeah, I can chain treasures together to stay up at three mana for a minute, but I don't think that's quite sufficient. Please be a land. There we go.
If damage would be dealt to you, prevent that damage. So it does stop his life gain from Skycrier if I let it through. That's kind of funny. Start with attacking. What's he got? He's got deal gone bad. Sure. I could just play mass bandits, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. I can just cast that. Which is a pretty big creature. Yeah, let's go with Angel of Suffering, though. Bruiser, sure. That is our mountain, isn't it? Hmm. Kill shot. That's pretty good. Mountain. Let's play hearse and pass. Although I don't really one, two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, the treasure makes it possible to cast mass bandits next turn. So let's just exile his graveyard to start and then pass. Sure. Sure. Guess I hit the forest. Speakeasy server seems legit. Exiling stuff. All right. Sure. Sure. Um, crew it up and swing for nine. Might be right. Withdraw. That might be good to blitz, actually. That will prevent one life gain. Play out the decoy. I don't want to pass casualty two. Still think we just crew up and swing out. Yeah. Well, not quite swing out, but, you know, pretty darn close to it.
Player removal spell. Yep. Okay, do I just kill the Sky Crier? Like. Um. Yeah. Let's just kill that for now. He'll make us both draw. He just plays his angel, right? Quaza! Oof. Um. Alright, well, I'm dead. <laughs> dead to Quaza. And drawing too many lands. kind of force him to lose Quaza. Yeah. Well, if I get one more treasure, I can actually, uh... the chances he has another kill shot though no way okay did not have another kill shot at least not this turn that's a blocker all right let's race no? Cleanup crew seems pretty good. Painful stroke, sure. Um, Cruel Purse will make him lose one thing. Which means he's gonna give up the Fairy Vandal, right? Alright, lose one thing. There we go. Sure. What you got? Yeah. Sure. Sure. That's fine with me. I was like, do you understand that I can crew with multiple creatures? <laughs> um, I'll crack my land, too. Let's both draw cards. Oof. Well, that made that a misplay. Yeah, we're gonna keep doing this. Cool. Forcing you to chump block with your strongest card. <laughs> uh, if I can only get some other treasure producer. Sleep with the fishes does give him another chump blocker. Or not. Uh, 
feels kind of ridiculous to kill a fish with this, but... Okay. GG. Unlicensed Hearse was the all-star MVP of that game. Why did I think I was losing at one point? Oh, because they had a bunch of flyers. If they had just played their Seraph earlier, and never mind the three life gain, like, whatever, having a 4-4 four, four flyer is more important. If they had made that play, that could have gone the other way. Yeah. Alright, and now we wait. I'm listening to a punk rock playlist that I made on my Spotify, on my phone right now. Caffeine. You know, caffeine is kind of a weird thing because so many people are uh, on it, and I know even just saying it that way is kind of funny. I only have two colors, I only have two lands, and I have a four drop and a six drop. I don't think I should keep that. This I'll keep. Mm. I'll probably hit a swamp, but what if I don't? Alright, we'll drop that. I don't have big score or any other way to specifically discard Pummeler. Alright, well, now we hope to draw lands. Oof. Well, you got a pretty good rare there. Play my decoy. I hope he's stuck on lands and that I'm not. There we go. Mill two, then draw. The fact that he's stuck on lands means I probably don't want to swing here. Like, what can he do? Does he have Tainted Indulgence? Okay, well, he at least got his fixing. Ooh. I know I wished it on him, but now I feel a little guilty. No, because being stuck on land doesn't mean you're losing. You can still do a lot. Um, let's go buff the Sky Crier so you can start gaining two a turn. I think warm welcomes right because I may hit something else that gives me a treasure but I also have no reason to wait <laughs> well that sucks I just hit no creatures and put three lands to the bottom may as well swing with heart stabber if you have no intention of blocking with it Uh, I guess technically playing the creature first was better, right? Mill 2 draw. Hope you didn't hit a land, boy. Play Initiate. Yeah, he has the life gain. I have three big dumb six drops in my hand while I have three lands. My turn. 
light him up. I may give up the initiate for that, actually. the opponent. Kill both your creatures. And swing for nine. Come on. Are you, you got something? Oh, his timer's already there. Okay. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, caffeine. Um, I'm cutting back on caffeine. I made my coffee weaker this morning. I did go a few days without coffee, and man, did I sleep better. Um, so I think I'm going to try to wean myself off of it. I normally did two and a half tablespoons of coffee, like grounds. Um, so now I'm down to one and a half. Murder, sure. That's what he was gonna play either way. Well, he needs a blocker or more removal or something. Swamp will be nice. Although it wouldn't even help me do much. Actually, do I have, I have green and red, so I would probably play rogues gallery if I draw a swamp. Quaza hits hard. Quaza hits way too hard. Obscura Charm, sure. GG! Yeah, Girder Goons for the win. I didn't even think about a better top deck than a land, but I guess there was one. Well, we were both short on lands that game. We were both very short on lands, and my deck despite having three big dumb six drops in hand, ended up winning it. Yeah, it is weird how many people use coffee, though. Use it. Use caffeine in general. It's like people are all drinking some kind of caffeinated tea, some kind of caffeinated coffee, sodas. Um, this might be the best hand that I've seen, and that worries me. Uh, ready, yeah. Start with the briefcase. That's pretty decent. Hit me for four. It's pretty good. Kinda on the defensive here. I also kinda don't mind being on the defensive. I will make that trade. I'll make both trades, actually. Since I don't really have a 4-drop, I can just play Courtyard here, get another mountain, because I have double green already. Dig up the body. If I mill four, it's definitely going to hit something. Take two. All right, saw jack, sure. Like, I'm gonna hit another creature off the top four. Yeah. Let's see, like, let's get cleanup crew. And Mr. Orpheo. Uh, Ready to Rumble is not the best here. Cleanup crew to gain four seems pretty legit. Let's 
Especially a poet doesn't seem to have counter spells. Do I play around kill shot and don't go swinging though? That's the other question. Limousine. That's a sorcery. This will also be a mountain. I don't even care if he kills cleanup crew, because I just, like, get it back, right? So, is he holding up kill shot? He might be. He might be. And if he is, what is there I can do about it? So, let's play Orfeo. I'm gonna swing with my 12-6. Really? Seems an odd choice. Uh, there. Why, though? Does he know that he's short? Relation of power, sure. They still all die, though. Let me see. I have green and red. I don't have black right now. So I still think warm welcome is the choice. Although rogues gallery would get back cleanup crew for next turn. I can just do that later. There's not a lot of things that exile graveyards. What you got? Orpheus a 4 4 next turn. Forge boss? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, Forge boss. Jewel Thief, huh? Start by swinging. Dude, you should not have done that just then. Because now I can just not attack. Oh, it's for the prize fight. Neat. Still would have let me swing first. That seems kind of stupid. Um, I think Pummeler is the right choice here. Because I can... Yeah, I can Rogue's Gallery and Orfeo next turn. Just pretty bonkers. Decoy. Sh sure, seems bad. I guess he did that for the draw. No whites, no blues. He's the only black. He's the only other red. He's the only other green. Yeah, that's... It's a pretty huge rogues gallery right there. <laughs> Getting three cards back. All of them very relevant. Seems strong. Sure, so it looks like I built a pretty good deck here. That's that's just what it looks like from the first couple of games. Or few, is that three? Meh. Not sure what I'm supposed to talk about now other than magic. What is the next set? Like, I was trying to figure out, like, what's the next actual set, but the next quote-unquote actual set isn't an actual set. It's gonna be some, like, commander BS. 
and there's not even going to be a new standard until months later. It's going to be some worthless set that I don't even care about, that I can't even play in standard. Or really draft, like, I don't know. So many, like, people and companies that I follow, as it were, or engage with, are just doing stupid shit right now. Um, might be nice to strangle that, but... Can always strangle next turn. Play courtyard, get a mountain. Cause I have my double green already. Body dropper. Ahead in this race. Hopefully he plays a really strong artifact or enchantment <laughs> that I can just kill with cleanup crew. Plasma Jockey does not count. Sure. I don't think attacking is correct here. I'll well, swing with Roastmaster might be. I'll take that trade. Nope. Okay. Swing with Jockey stops the 1-1 one -one from blocking. He's got removal then, by the way he's looking. I guess this is a swamp, then. I don't think I need any double red. I think I only have double green. I don't think I even have double black. I only have double green cards. Opponent has plenty of mana. And a decent board presence. He's 12 to 21, but life totals don't really matter. At least not right now. Like, 12, sure I can hit him for... 10s, potentially, but that's not gonna happen. <sighs> Looks like he has some kind of removal spell that's, um... Yeah. That's pretty good. But does he hold that back as a blocker? Or does he just hit for 3 and we start a really dumb race? <laughs> It's not up two, is it? That's no, just target. Okay. That is a choice. Um, I'm not gonna waste my ready to rumble here. That sucks. Okay. This is gonna be a mountain, then. Unlicensed hearse would have been really nice. Yep. Ready to rumble is ready for any good creature he plays. Like that. Sure. He has fake your own death. Nope. Alright. I can start forcing blocks next turn. Unless he has more removal. Yeah, I was gonna say, even removal like rooftop nuisance. Yeah, that hurts. What do I hope for? Another cleanup crew would be really nice. Dragoons or something like that would be good too.
don't want to hit him with this. Not sure what life gain black red has. Or blue. I don't really know that he has life link. This does kill shield counter things, so I can just fuck his uh Shield counters don't prevent this damage as they are removed. I like that that f reminder text is like this does get around shield counters. Um Does he swing out though? No. So I'll just take two. I'm fine with that. I'll just take two. Yeah. I don't have any blockers. Carmella Glamour Thief. Which is gonna get back rooftop nuisance, probably. Yeah. Sacrifice? Majestic Metamorphosis. Graveyard shift, what can I hit? It is also instant speed. From your graveyard to the battlefield. Now it is instant speed, so I can have an instant witty roast master. Which, if the opponent does get cocky, could somehow win me this game? Yeah. Probably blocks cleanup crew here, blocks Woody Roastmaster there, and then just takes two and swings back for lethal next turn. So, I think this is correct. Wait, I had lethal. No, because he has life gain. Never mind. There we go. I think that's right. Unless he has something that lets him draw an extra card, and then I'm dead anyways. Life link? Yeah. I guess I should have saved calling for calling a professional. This is a very close one. I don't know what I need to draw. Strangle, that's GG then. I'll give him that. He had a lot of removal. That was a very solid Maestro's deck. 
No way I was going to play around Majestic Metamorphosis, but maybe I should have. Oh well. Cleanup crew is strong, but not strong enough. It doesn't have trample. If it had trample, it'd be pretty great. I think it's an uncommon. So it could have trample and still be reasonable as an uncommon. Custom. Cuss Tom. That's when you're talking crap about Tom. You're cussing him. I cuss Tom. <laughs> All right, Rocket. Isn't that Rocket the name of that raccoon from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy? Swamp. Raffin's informant. If I draw a forest, I can just light him up here. If not, I think. <sighs> Still think that's right. Yeah, backup agent would have put that out of range, so. That's right. So we're both stuck on three lands for now. Jewel Thief. So if I draw an untapped land, it could be Pummeler. Uh, you're broadcasting a buff spell like that. Um, He's going the flying route. Ugh. That is missed every time. I think I'm gonna cut it. I think I blitzed the girder guns here. For the card draw. There. Yeah, that's probably the worst land, but that's okay. Let's still play Roastmaster, and I'm not dead right away. Okay. Here we go. They are effectively mono-white so far. And doing strong things for being that. Uh, I would have put them both on the same, I think. Uh, this is gonna be a four. It can't be a forest. Then it'll be a mountain. Okay. Crew for life gain is going to be big, assuming it resolves. Groundbreaker. 
he's just gonna equip it to the fish. Oh, that's lethal. Oh, I did not see that one coming. All right, what can I do to change the deck? Because I don't like losing two games in a row with a deck that I think is good. What can I do differently? Warm welcome. Honestly, I'll cut both of them. That was the one card that was totally dead. It just kept missing. So it was a three mana instant speed 1-1 one, one every time I played it, which is just awful. Ooh, that's not the one that hits Swamp, but I do have Briefcase. Okay, I'll try it. Say hello, maybe friendliness will uh, make a difference. Hey. So I can use that for an early forge boss. Which I think I might be doing. Otherwise I'm missing this turn. I think playing forge boss now and getting ahead is better than trying to wait on cleanup crew. Ooh, make disappear makes that a terrible play. I guess sitting there doing nothing would have been the better play. So now I really can't do anything next turn. Mountain, swing for one. Uh, blitz. I really don't like playing against Control Unlimited because it's scary. It makes it feel like I can't do anything. Dig up the bodies better here because it's instant speed. Instants against control are good. Let's just not mill a million lands. Turn a creature card. Let's get... Let's get Orpheo. Forge boss. Try for forge boss. Try for Orpheo. What is he doing? Um. Dang. Crazy idea, but sacrifice Orpheo and just burn it out. If he counters even one of those, that sucks. Although that does also burn him for two. Forge boss is not such a huge deal. That, like, I need to save it. Sure. Not ideal, but sure. Hearse might be the good play here, but I think Grossmaster's better. He just have to discard. Wow. Um, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I can threaten lethal if I blitz this. It looks like he's got nothing. Might be a misplay, but I'm going for it. Okay, it was lethal. He did not stop it at all. A lot of big dumb six drops sitting in the hand doing nothing. But I still don't really want to cut them. Okay. We're doing okay. Warm Welcome. I, if Warm Welcome gave you a treasure instead of a 1-1, one, one, that would be an amazing card, and I would always run it um
I'll keep it. We'll take that risk. Primarily because I have Strangle. Like, I have Strangle and Riveteer's Initiate, so... I have enough to... At least grind to a halt. A lot of early aggro strategies. Opponent plays a... They mold the five. Woof. I think Briefcase is better. Depends on what he does, but... Oh, Briefcase is definitely better. Jewel Thief just dies to that, so... I need lands. Fake Your Own Death does make a treasure. Could just strangle that. Psychic pickpocket. I call that a target. That's what I call that. I'd hit the treasure. I'm him, I hit the treasure. I know that sounds weird, but I think that'd be right. Uh, I guess I swing first and then just run out the girder goons. options. Jewel Thief gets me to the mana for Graveyard Shift. If the Goons of Doom die, maybe blitzing him was better. I don't know. Does he have a third color? Yeah, he does have a third color, because that's a blue card right there. So we're against brokers. No box. Gotta be kidding me. Alright, well there's a good target. You can hit for four, I can hit for six, so... Do we see who wins this race? Socialite. Yeah, we'll hold back for now. Because I can probably play cleanup crew. At this point, I don't mind trading Girder Goons. Come on. Come on. What you gonna do, Mr. Black Lotus, for a pet? I wonder what the Black Lotus does for you. Because, like, this guy, he does little red lasers if it's your opponent's stopped her, but if it's yours, he gets a pie and drops it. It'd be cool if, like, every thousand times you did this or something, he actually just set the pie there, and then you had a pie. Nothing. Sure, I can live with that. Um... It's a treasure, sure.
sure. Seems legit. Make a tap 2-2 two, two, and pass. Do you think this is correct? This Girder Goon's actually better than Jewel Thief in this situation, though. It is a little stronger. Gain the treasure is nice, though. We'll get the Jewel Thief. Instant speed Jewel Thief. Draw. Yep, it would have been better. What do I want? Mountain or swamp? Mountain, because of the land. <sighs> yeah. Block dig up the body is the play. Let's grab back my jewel thief. Riveteer's decoy. I still think I like goons better. Nah, decoy. Clean up crew's the real bomb here. Ballroom brawlers, sure. Uh, I may just rumble that. Before there's even a potential of him doing anything else. Yeah. Zone Jewel Thief, sure. If he untaps the land, he has another play. Yeah. It's pretty good. I'm not sure if life gain or removing the dagger is actually better. No way it's make disappear, right? He wouldn't have done that. Gaining four might have been better, but I don't know. That feels right to me. Luxurious Libation would hit pretty hard, but it's not too bad. Oh, he's got nothing. It's Roastmaster Jewel Thief, then. Done on top. Nah. He does not have kill shot mana right now, so I swing. Puts him within range. Within range of the long nines. <laughs> Shield mate. Well, that's annoying. He doesn't really have good swings, though. Unless he has a combat trick. Even with a combat trick, it's not ideal. Oh yeah, I have a land I can sacrifice. Sure, seems legit. Um, let's 
Swing with just him. Triple blocks, he loses Jewel Thief and Gardener, like... And the treasure. I mean, the, uh, shield counter. Don't think that was worth it, bro. He sure is putting up a fight, though. Give him that much. Let's just randomly do that. I think Bandits is better. I think that's GG. GG. Very cool. So wait, does that mean I'm in the positive? Woo! And good song just came on. I can't play the music because I don't know copyright jack shit, right? So I think it'd be cool if I could just play my punk rock mix and just, I don't know, give props to Spotify. Spotify, pay me for advertisement so that one or two people who watch my videos <laughs> can, um, can find out about Spotify, this this uh, internet radio thing that everyone already knows about. I don't know what you would call Spotify. Not internet radio, but something like that. <sighs> yeah, okay. Cole Burns. Sounds like it might be their real name, but it could also be a joke name. That's a forest, so this is good. I think it's funny when they come out of order like that. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have kept this. I wasn't really paying attention to what cards. I was just like, oh, I have all my colors. It's probably fine. I saw a dude. I didn't read the card. I was like, oh, I have a creature. No, I don't. Well, now I have two removal spells and a creature and one thing to semi-protect the picture. The creature. Mmm. <laughs> All the professional might be worth saving for something bigger later. Yeah. So, hopefully he lives. He attacks first, I'm in an awkward position. Run out of town. I will put him on top. We're still hoping to play both of these and have them both be relevant. If he has like a tap spell, man. Ugh, he probably has a combat trick, but. I don't really have a choice right now. That sucks. If he has his own fake your own death, psh. Yeah, okay. Another gathering throng. Very strong. I need a two or three drop creature. That's not ideal. If he has another revelation of power, I'm just dead, right? Five, six, seven, eight. Not quite. Darn close, though. Another combat trick. Sheesh. Uh, yep, I'm dead. 
No competing against that. Blue White is strong. I guess I should have killed the Rafine's informant. Turn three. Should have just nipped that in the bud. Because that was combat tricks galore. Well, that was okay, though. I won enough that I got my gems back. Get five packs. Sure. I'll take it. Get an extra wild card? Sure, I'll take it. I don't really see Hearse as good enough for Constructed. I don't know where you would play it. Like, I don't know. I don't know where you would play it. Anyway, that's it for that draft. Riveteers doing okay. Not great. Not awful. And other than that, if you enjoy this, like, subscribe, and peace out, y'all.